today. We're going to be focusing on how can I describe how change in number and vertex form affects its graph. I want you guys giving each other feedback using math language, okay? And I want you to share your thinking. I'm able to push my thinking and not like get bored as easily. It, it does make it more fun to like explore your options and understand there's not one way to do a problem. What's called? Illustrative math gives students opportunities to think, problem solve with each other, collaborate, share strategies, and then come together as a class to synthesize their learning with a teacher. How did you solve? So five times five is 20. My goal is to deepen what we're working on, and so collaborative discussions and not just me as a teacher giving information, but all of us coming together and deepening our thinking. And why? Sheen. Well, we noticed that the division problem is going the wrong way. I will maybe say, this is one way to think about it, and then as they work though, let them figure out, did that work for them, or do they actually go about it a different way? Would I add six here? Try it, see what happens. Let's think of an equation for that equals 12. So what equals 12? It's challenged my thinking because everybody thinks different, so I can see how they do their work and how if like I'm stuck on a problem, I could try it the other way and see if it works better for me. They find so much joy in doing the thinking, you know, because then they get that, they've done it. Like they pushed through the pain, they, they accomplished it, they succeed, and then it just makes them want more. Good. How's it feeling? What we're seeing in the classroom with teachers utilizing illustrative math along with adding supplemental supports is that they're really meeting the needs of students. In the equation, we've got that minus H and that was a positive. Good, and you got your beautiful. Look at number three. What it used to be was we had curriculums that had more of the concrete basic mathematics and then we were expected to figure out the high level thinking math. And those are hard complex problems to try to find and create. So now it's been flipped and IM gives us all those high level questions and problems so we now can spend the time to focus on what skills do each of my students need to be successful. What do you think? I want to hear some thoughts. I heard a lot of different great thoughts. If there's more support, I can easily get it because they're breaking it down for me. What did you start with? Did you start by drawing or did you start by using expression? started by using expression. Way to level up, ladies! To me, it feels low prep because those lessons are set up. All I have to do is know what I'm facilitating. I love it and my kids love it. So we shift it over to the entire algebra curriculum has a support curriculum. If you are someone who maybe has missed some of the big picture and just needs some of, like they need the toolbox. Yeah, after I started thinking, I think it's B to be honest. The support lessons can really give that to the kids. The support I have right now, they're really taking time to make sure that I understand it, to make sure that I know that there's multiple ways to explore this uh, equation. Two, but now I've got plus three. High quality instructional materials can make a big difference in classrooms. Teachers can focus on how they're teaching and not what they're teaching. They have the supports that they need. So what happened in words? This is where I want you to sketch the graph. I'm getting more time to actually recognizing who my students are and how do they learn best and making sure that they can express their math in the way that works for them. So the first thing I would do is I would find multiple ways to get one perimeter. Kids love to share their thinking with each other. They really like to show that they're an expert on something and then to have these collaborative conversations. It's an opportunity for them to say, wow, look what I can do. Evelyn helped Grant level up his math work using multiplication. Go for it.